And the Big Sound Music Conference has been happening out of Brisbane, Queensland, Australia. And the man who's been putting all this together, Stephen Green, uh, congratulations on like the group of people that you've got together on sort of the think tank that has been happening here over the last couple of days. Uh, what is the major question that is coming out of the music industry in general at the moment that you have observed from wandering around the place here? I think it's about business models. I mm. think uh, everyone's everyone's looking at, uh, you know, now that CDs are not, uh, not selling in the numbers that they used to be selling in, where does the money come from? I mean, there's still a million, you know, fantastic artists out there and, uh, you know, hopefully some of the showcases here will help discover them. But once that happens... Where does the cash come from? Where's where's the business model that, that wraps around the art? Yeah, and we're seeing you know like every, everyone from the unsigned acts right through to the major executives of the major record labels, touring companies, um, promotions companies here, all scratching their heads at the moment. Absolutely, and and you know I think by bringing all those different uh, stakeholders together, we've got a much better you know opportunity to find some answers. Um, yeah, I don't think there's going to be any uh, any simple answers, but at least getting everyone together to have a chat about it uh, is you know is the first step to you know p- potentially you know a young entrepreneur getting some ideas and, and coming up with something that, that really you know puts put some of the old model together in a new way that, that really works. Yeah, well we're seeing a lot of the artists out there that are almost questioning whether they need to be uh, signing with major labels. So, uh, You've been doing uh, like Big Sound now for about four, five, four, five or six years now. Seven. Seven years. Seven years. Happy birthday. <laughs> <laughs> but are you finding that, you know, over the course of that time, you know, the new artists that are coming into the music industry, particularly now, have totally different questions and expectations to what you saw in 2002 when the first thing first started? Absolutely. I mean, I think back, um, I mean, it was starting to change even then, but, you know, go back 10 years ago and, and the big question was how do I get signed to Sony or how do I get signed to you know to, to a major label who can you know be the magic bullet that that gets us to the top of the charts yeah. all of a sudden no one's talking about signing to Sony no one's talking about the top of the charts even it's yeah. uh, you know it, it's a whole different ball game and and I guess the um, it, the ball's back in the artist court now to to get a number of service providers together that can do what they want I mean rather than sign to a record company to do everything for them they can cherry pick and you know you know what if if they you know, touring successfully and uh, don't need a record company for that, then they can go to a, a touring company. If, if their merch is, you know, is what's bringing in the money, they can go to a merch company. If, uh, if they're selling records without having a major label, they don't need a major label either. And they can pick and choose the different partners that they want to work with rather than tying their whole career up with, with you know, one entity. Mm. Now, you've been doing this um, with support from the Queensland Government, but the questions that are being asked are international questions, aren't they? Affecting, like, Queensland bands, Brisbane bands and whatever, but, you know, it's the same questions that are coming out of each of the states and uh, even what we're seeing, uh, questions being asked at conferences around the United States and Europe. Um, you know, from a Queensland perspective, uh, you know, what is this meant to achieve for the Queensland bands and is it meant to take them that next step to a national level and to an international level? Yeah, I mean, I think it's about, um, it's about answering those questions and, and, and talking about those questions in Queensland being a good thing. You know, we've got a really healthy industry up here and, uh, you know, bringing, bringing people from Sydney, from Melbourne, from, you know, Los Angeles, from New York, from London, all, all to here to, to have these discussions, I think, is a really healthy thing for our industry. And if, if we've got those people here, they check out some bands in the meantime, it, it really, um, it's a really a way to put a spotlight on the talent that we've got here without ramming it down people's throats, basically. It's, mm. uh, and, and, you know, when, when people do think about, about music and, and about, you know, where they, uh, where they can do business, yeah, Brisbane and Queensland can be on that map. Well, I'm seeing that uh, the Queensland government being very proactive in helping the uh, music industry out of uh, this particular region, as compared to New South Wales and Victoria, for instance, uh, it doesn't seem to be coincidental that uh, a lot of the acts that are breaking out of Australia at the moment are, ha- are breaking out of Queensland. I think, yeah, it's it's, it's one of those things where the stars have uh, aligned for, for the industry, I guess, where... You know, we've we've got a government and a number of, of departments in in the government that, that really understand that um, you know music's important on a number of different levels. It's it's about um, yeah, it's about cultural outcomes as well as um, as financial outcomes. And now really is a, a great time to be investing in the music industry when, when things are you know probably not uh, at their peak financially. But you know, if if the new business models are worked out and the revenue streams are um, uh, you know. Are solidified, 
you know, we're putting ourselves at the forefront um, of the industry rather than giving up on the industry. And I think, you know, it's part of, I guess, Queensland's uh, mantra at the moment is talking about the smart state. Mm. And uh, it's all a, bit, all a bit of that, I think. Yeah, but it's very important for governments to participate in, in the arts and especially in the music industry there. Absolutely. I mean, it's, it's, you know, government's not there to make a million dollars. It's, it's there to, uh, you know, also in, enhance the, the cultural relevance of the city. I mean, this, this music works for Brisbane on so many different, different levels. I mean, there is the income that it generates, but, you know, there's the tourism benefits that it generates as well. There's, there's the cultural benefits for the people that live here. You know, there's, there's so many things that are, are so difficult to measure and, you know, in a balance sheet, a balance sheet doesn't necessarily... Uh, reflects all of the benefits and I, th I think the government is starting to realise that and, and you know, it's, it's actually been really good to work with them on this. Mm. Well we've been hearing a lot about the doom and gloom within the industry you know, locally and internationally over the last couple of days. You know, what's, your, what's your spin on the positive side of the music industry and where it can head over the next couple of years? I think at the end of the day um, you know, music is something that, that everybody needs. If, if, if overnight the music industry disappeared people would still be listening to music and, and, you know, based on that there is a way to monetize it. We maybe haven't uh, quite put our finger on what that is yet, but, uh, you know, the, the, there's healthy touring um, scenes out there. There's, um, there's so many extra income streams that weren't there five years ago, ten years ago. You know, there's, there's monetizing mobile. There's, there's a lot of conversations out there in, in different ways and, you yeah, there's, know, there's a whole... whole different world out there that's opening up and, and like I said before I think it's just about um, you know we, we might be in a period now where where revenues are, are going down but it will it'll bottom out they'll they'll uh, someone will, will, will figure out a way to that the money will roll in and, and things will uh, things will improve. So 2009 it's happening again no doubt. Absolutely from yeah. the uh, 9th to the 11th of September next year so uh, Stick it in your diary. All locked in. <laughs> <laughs> Stephen Green, Program Director of Big Sounds. And thank you for joining us here at Undercover. Thanks. Thanks.